Precalc 12, Chapter 5.7, we're going to look at solving logarithmic and exponential functions. Since log and exponential functions are inverses of each other, sometimes it's going to be easier to use the inverse to solve the problem. And this is especially the case if you're doing it algebraically. And one note here is always check for extraneous roots. So let's look at some simple examples. Here we have log 4 of x plus log 4 of 3x is equal to 2. So what you need to notice first is the domain is x is greater than 0. Now we can use our log laws. Log 4 of x times 3x equals 2. Let's simplify this. Log 4 of 3x squared is equal to 2. So solving for this might be difficult. So let's exponentiate both sides with a base of 4. That would cancel log 4 out. So this is 3x squared. And now we have 4 raised to the power of 2. So again, we're raising both sides to the power with 4 as the base. So now we have x squared equals 16 over 3. So x equals plus or minus the square root of 16 over 3, which equals plus or minus 4 over root 3. Or we could say plus or minus. 4 root 3 over 3. Because negative 4 root 3 over 3 is not in the domain, it's extraneous. And 4 root 3 over 3 is our solution. Let's look at another example. We have 5 to the power of x equals 72. There's no common base here. So let's use logarithms to help us out. So log 5x equals log 72. We use the log law and pull the x out. So x equals log 72 over log. 5. And since this is math, okay, we leave the answer in this form because it is an exact value. If you change it to a decimal, it's not an exact value, so it's not as good of an answer. Let's look at some more complicated examples. So we have to look for the most restrictive domain. Here we have x is greater than 4, x is greater than negative 3, x is greater than negative 1. So greater than 4 is the most restrictive. Okay, now we can use our log laws to combine these expressions. So this is x minus 4 times x plus 3 all over x plus 1, and that equals 3. Now we exponentiate both sides, and we can expand this as well. Or if you prefer, we are foiling it. This is x squared minus x minus 12 equals 2 to the power of 3 over x plus 1. So this is x squared minus x minus 12. This is 8, so we have 8x plus 8. Bring everything over to one side, we have x squared minus 9x minus 20 equals 0. So remember our other rules from pre-calc 11. We can look at the discriminant. b squared minus 4ac is equal to 81 minus 4 times negative 20. And this is 161. 161 
is not a perfect square. So we'll use the quadratic formula to solve this. X is equal to minus B. So that's minus 9 plus or minus the square root. And we've already calculated the discriminant. All over 2A, that's just 2 times 1. So we have 9 plus or minus square root 161 over 2. And we need to check for extraneous values. This is roughly 12. It's between 12 and 13. 12 squared is 144. 13 squared is 169. So it's slightly closer to 169, so it's almost 13. 9 minus 13 is going to be negative, so that's outside the domain. So we'll write 9 minus square root 161 over 2 is extraneous. So 9 plus square root 161 over 2 is the solution. That completes that example. Let's look at another one. Again, we have no common base. So let's take the log of both sides. We have log 5 to the power of x minus 1, log of 3 to the power of x plus 2. Now we bring the exponents out front. So we have x minus 1 in brackets, log 5, and x plus 2, log 3. Make sure you have brackets here because it's incorrect to say x plus 2 times log 3. So now we expand. We have x log 5 minus log 5 equals x log 3 plus 2 log 3. Bring all the x's to one side. We have x log 5 minus x log 3 equals log 5 plus 2 log 3. We factor the x out. x log 5 minus log 3. And let's expand this. This is log 5 plus log. We bring the exponent in. So that's 3 squared. This is 9. Now we use our log laws and solve. This is log 45. This is log 45 because we're adding logs. That means we multiply the parameters. And on this side, we are subtracting, so let's divide. And that completes that example. And the note here is to have your log and exponential rules handy if you haven't memorized them. And that completes this lesson.